All right, so in this video, we're going to add these two fractions. It says perform the operation, and you can see it's addition. And then we're going to reduce them. So uh, why don't you pause the video, try this out, and, and press play when you're ready to talk about it. All right, so what I would do is I would write out the two denominators, the numbers on the bottom. And I would list out the multiples of each denominator until I get something that they have in common. So here I could stop because they, the multiples of 6 and 8 are equal at 24. So 24 is the 1, 2, 3, 4th multiple of 6, 6 times 4. So I multiply this fraction by 4 over 4. And that will get me a denominator of 24, and I want to multiply the top number by 4 so that the fraction is still really the same. Now, for the 11 eighths, I'm going to multiply it by 3 over 3 because 24 is the 1, 2, 3rd multiple of 8. So now when I scale up these fractions, I'm going to get 33 over 24. So I did, it, I did it 3 times 11 and 3 times 8. And that's 33 over 24 plus 4 over 24. So I multiply 1, 6 by 4 over 4. And now when I add these two, all I have to do is add the numerators, the top numbers. 33 plus 4 is 37, and that's out of 24. Remember, we do not need to add the denominators because really what's happening, if you think about this, one way to say it is, okay, this first fraction is 33 twenty-fourths. So how many twenty-fourths is it? It's 33 of them. In the second fraction, we have four twenty-fourths. So altogether, we have 33 and 4 24ths, which is 37 24ths. All right, I hope this helped.